Aha. It's nice to be back here, but having this so I can just skip. There we go. Yeah. And now it's sunrise. Cool. There's the Aurora Thrusters. My goal is to go 1,000 meters in that direction-ish. Guess we'll start by backing up. I'm a little close to some stuff around here. And like right around here, there's a reaper. We're gonna stick to the kelp forest for a bit. I did not want to enter the zone that I think the reaper's in. Which is just the general right behind the ship part. I wish I had sonar in you. Or the, does this thing ever detect, detect threats or does it just detect like stuff being near me? Like a rock. Because <laughs> I like that you tell me when rocks are nearby. It'd be nice if you told me when bad things want to murder me. It'd be pretty good. Ninety-six percent. Yeah, I just feel like we're not actually in that much threat of crashing right now. What is that down there? Kind of cool looking area. Oh yeah, floaters. We're already halfway there, in one direction at least. We're halfway to having the right distance, which is not the same thing as ha being halfway to having the right direction. Camera one is the keel. I don't know what a keel is. What is this area down here? Ooh. Do I hear reef backs? That's usually a good sign, in my opinion. I'm just gonna keep saying that until I'm wrong one day. Oh yeah, this is known quantity. This is a known entity right here. This is the red zone. Okay, I'll I'll advance through here. Oh, I've never been here before. Almost certainly. Yeah, I've definitely never been here before. I should check out all this shit. Just in case there's something cool and different in it. Is there are a lot of floaters. I probably don't want those on my base. Eh. I gotta be reasonably low though, I think, because I need to be able to get back in with my prawn suit, because I've taken that instead of the sea glide. I mean, instead of the sea moth on this ride. Okay. Look at you guys. Uh, whoa. Holy crap. I'm pretty sure more of them loaded in. Uh,. I don't think we're in danger right now, so let's turn the lights on. Nopes. Uh. Oh, you right click, right. That looks like a headlight symbol, not a camera symbol to me. Holy crap. I'm saving because, you know, this thing likes to throw, glitch me out and murder me, so let's not risk that right now if I can avoid it. It's spooky inside of here. With the lights off. 
Holy crap. That's the most of them I've ever seen. Like, that's really cool. Let's carve you up. You are the tree that gets to bleed today. <laughs> All right. So let's be very careful. Left click is punch. Right click is a torpedo that costs resources to make. All right. The main thing is I can use this for oxygen. I don't really need to use it that much for scanning. In fact, I don't think I can use it for scanning. Hey there. I have never seen so many reef backs in one place. And you get a sense of scale because of how small they look from here. This is instantly one of the coolest locations I've seen. What is that? Eh. Getting stuck on debris. I just want to look at this hole. What's up with this hole? That is a lot of jellyfish. Huh. So uh, that's currently northeast. I'm trying to go southwest. Ooh, that's good. If I look at that, it's almost directly northeast. And my goal is to go southwest of the Aurora. So I want to go another five... Yeah. I'm gonna go like another another 400 meters that way. So it's a pretty clear direction. We're, we went the right way. Good. But I'm gonna go on a side path here. I don't even have an idea of what I might find down here, but I want to explore a little bit. And this looks... Honestly, it looks like a playground to play around with it with my nice new ship. Because this is like a, a little platforming level for me to bounce around in. I like the idea of that. There's some acid mushrooms. Because I got, a, I got a vehicle that has to walk everywhere. And here's a nice cozy little cave with hazardous those guys. But it's actually really pretty. I want to look around. What's the shiny down there? I think that's the stuff I saw before in the... The, uh, on the brief back. Note, I may not actually find anything worthwhile in here. I don't know. Alright, you don't want to collect those? It's fine, you can just punch them, I guess. Why do you have to make creepy sounds, guys? You're kind of cool. I mean, you kind of look horrible, actually. You're kind of like a Lovecraftian nightmare monstrosity. Uh, Alright. Oh, don't get hit by the thing. I think I can get back out. What is that thing? We're mostly just seeing tons of mushrooms down here. This thing's gra yeah, this thing's uh energy will last a while. So I'm not really at a big risk. Just gotta be careful. But thankfully my Cyclops has a waypoint, so that'll kinda point me back here when I wanna come back. What is this? Sandstone, I think, right? Oh yeah, not not really a big not really a big find. This is new. Which is a mixed thing to say. Uh, nothing, so far nothing in it appears to be new. Like the things in it. Am I st physically stuck on someone right now? Ooh. Die. No, Mr. Baita, I will expect you to die. This is a... <sighs> this is so cozy to explore. I don't know if we'll find anything interesting, though. We'll see. I have such a mixed experience with Subnautica. On one hand, it actually scratches the same itch that uh, Breath of the Wild did last year, which was my which was probably my game of the year, and that it was just this brilliant, beautiful game to explore and wander around, and I just loved my experience with it. 
But on the other hand, I'm terrified of this game. And also the game kind of seems to almost want the actively want you to not explore it at times. Obviously it's the final goal and everything. Is that a biter? I will fuck you up. I almost want to shoot a vortex at it for fun. Like on Breath of the Wild though, you go on a mountain and you look in a direction and you see this massive distance in that direction and you're like, I want to see what's over there. I can't wait to explore that thing too. And you do the same thing in a... You do, this, you do the same thing in a Subnautica, you look in a direction you just see an abyss. And you have no fucking clue what's in that direction. And half the time, maybe uh, something horrible, like a Reaper or Leviathan, will just spawn. It'll like... It'll clip, it'll suddenly show up, and it's like, oh, now that's in its... now that's in your spawn range. And it'll just pop in, and you're like, no... <laughs> Fuck... That direction's bad. Uh... So it's like, what if Breath of the Wild actively didn't want you to explore it? Asshole. There we go. Those things attack me. I would say that this game is Breath of the Wild crossed with, uh... Alien Isolation. Not mechanically, just in how it makes me feel. I think that's a pretty good comparison. Is Breath of the Wild and Alien Isolation. <laughs> Although, I transitioned. I wonder if I'll transition in this game like I did with Alien Isolation. That's a laser cutter. First question right now is, will any of these things be things I haven't found before? We have, we have a crash to explore, and those have historically been very good for me. In Alien Isolation, the fear went away eventually, and it just became stress. The game was a series of save points. And there was a very real threat constantly trying to stop you from getting from save point to save point and objective to objective. Because I was playing in hard mode and the alien was very good at killing you. Uh, at first it was very scary, but eventually it just became very uh, stressful. Because it was just a very competent thing that wanted to kill me. And it never stopped being good at killing me. Uh, and so that was always, the pressure was always on. It's just the fear wasn't there the same way. I would love for the fear to go away in this game, because it's so beautiful. Like, look at this. It's like, it's nice to take a moment to kind of walk around in a cave. The game's so beautiful, and the progression system is really good, and the world design's really good. But also, it makes me want to, uh, throw up until my, all my organs come out, and then I don't have to exist in its world anymore. Yeah. Ooh, silver. Not that it's really that much of a rare resource for me. Also, I don't know where it went. <laughs> I'll always be a little excited when gold and silver show up, even though I uh, don't really even need them that often. Alright, so, so to the crash itself. I got a little distracted with the cool cave. I feel safe around here. Decreased. Feeling pretty safe, so I'm just gonna fly around and look for scannable things real quick. Laser cutter fragment. Why is it showing up with a scannable icon like that? Like that's significant. I thought the scannable icon only shows up when you still need to scan it. Could just be wrong about that. That was a sound. Which sound was that? I do not remember which creature wakes that sound. I don't think that's a laser cutter door. Oh, these guys. These assholes shooting darts at me. They're not very good at it though. If I just move a little bit, it pretty much takes care of itself. Nothing in there. There's like a hallway here, but I can't get into it from here. Hi! God, those are so cool. Please, no surprises, game. Ooh, PDA. Integrate. 
Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, cutting. I'm gonna have to back out though. Cause I am running out of air. This is not progressing. I guess I've drifted out of his range. Whoops. That's more inside, right? Yeah. Yeah, when you're suffocating might not be the best moment for you to see. Welcome aboard, Captain. Wow, we're only 100 meters down. It's not common for me. Look how close it is to me. Is oh, oh, that's me hitching a little bit. Go wait. Are two of them touching each other right now? Oh my god, they're mating. Oh my god, <laughs> it's the reef, <clears throat> the reef back raiding mating ritual. Oh, what? The Whoa, you're like a secret. There you go. Oh, it's very dark in here. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's not, that's not a battery I can take. That's just the fact that that thing is battery powered. Uh, propulsion cannon. That's only good for titanium if I want more titanium. Is still mating up there? Really recontextualizes the noises they're making. Come on, give me something cool. Or just tons of propulsion cannons, apparently. We're probably gonna have diminishing returns on how useful these crashes are, huh? And that's how I would have gotten in if I didn't use the, uh, that other spot. Ah. Uh, Oh, that was all that was there, there to find, unless I just want a bunch of titanium. You're beautiful. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Look how fucking many there are. Yeah. I will... Come here. Ja. You know what you did. There's so many. This is like my favorite biome now. <laughs> this particular area. Just because there's so many reef backs in it, it's great. Well, this was an extended detour, but it hasn't really amounted to much. But it was cool, so there's that. Get in there. No. Come on. It is pretty funny how... It, it's such a struggle to get into the zone where, it, where it'll reboard, but the moment it's in that zone, it like comically like railroads on where it's like it, it it's so perfectly is on rails in that moment that it's like you can soup it's just super clear when you move artificially from flailing and not being able to attach to instantly being on there i do not have a system here at all i really don't there's not there are not really rules to which thing go, which things are going where in these things or what's going on there it's just a mess all right, successful little excursion. Cool. So I just I just save every time I get back in this thing because I don't I fear that it's gonna kill me. Not the the cave didn't really amount to as much as I thought it would, and it also uh, at first glance at the because probably because it's in the red zone, I thought that was gonna go into the mushroom caves, but no. <laughs> hey, you dumb shark. All right. So, just to verify here, that is the northeast, so we just want to go further southwest until, yeah, another 400 meters basically, we should see something. That should be encouraging. 
Probably want to keep the lights on for now. Engine powering up. Hope we don't die horribly. Let's also go up and get away from any potential floaters. That seems like a bad idea to let them get it near me. I really hope there's no sign. A keel. A con conning tower. Screw. I do not know what- I do not understand these terms very much. I think keel's the front, though. Yeah, that's the front. This direction. Okay. So that direction should be a... A reaper. Hasn't shown up otherwise. Oh. Right. Where's the... Is there not a compass on... Oh, there it is. Southwest. That direction. I just set my angle correctly. Because I can't see it here. Alright, let's W. Let's W it up. 400 meters this way. If I sound quiet when I'm flying, when I'm driving, it's because I'm trying to listen for any bad sounds. Hey, bone sharks. Okay, so there's bone sharks down here. Those guys are cool. I'm probably supposed to be afraid of the bone sharks or something, but they're just really cool looking. And also, I never really encourage- I never really encounter them when I'm not in this vehicle. Oh, they're everywhere around here. Look at you guys. I think it's because I think of them as like lizards or dragons instead of like a shark. So the applicable fear doesn't really set in. I also don't really see them at scale very often. They never really approach me up close in human form than much. So I always see them in vehicle context. And they're really cool. Oh man. I would totally want Drez to be able to summon a bone shark. Fuck. It's just an abyss in this direction right now. Alright, how's our distance? 800. We're making progress. Alright, let's 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 go down. That's the forward direction. Okay, so I gotta be careful about going down. We're not that close to the bottom, but we are closer to these things than you, than you might think. Going a little too far down now. What a cool topography. They're going southwest. That's when my light's on? I can't see shit. Oh, oh. Those are just fish that were right outside my window. I thought those were showing up on the thing. Look how much they're shining up. They're so glowy. I don't like it. How we doing? We're halfway there from la from last time I checked. I do not like not being able to see anything from this perspective. But also, like, when I look like this, I can't see in front of me and that worries me. What is that? That's the Degassi hide habitat. How close am I to that right now? I'm 100 meters deep right now. Th that thing's apparently... Okay, you're playing spooky music at me right now. How about you calm the fuck down? What are you- what are you- what are you- what are you spookifying at me right now? Look how- uh, 
That's a biome change, right? The spikes are gone. And now it's there's weird glowy things in the distance. And it's it's doing that thing again where it plays horror music. Stop playing horror music. I command you. Can I see any better with that off? I'm trying to scout here. There is a nice little thing in the corner of the screen that tells me which direction I'm facing compared to the sub. Hey, little guy. God, it's just a fucking abyss. I'm a little worried about going that deep. Maybe I should rotate? Because we're almost, we're almost there, distance-wise. But maybe it's further this way, because I was not behind the Aurora itself. I'm gonna stick... I'm gonna stick with this ridge for a bit. See if I find anything here, because I haven't really explored this zone very much. And the deeper -er zone scares me a little bit, and I'm worried about that. That's a good sign. That's a thing right there. Hey, Sharkies. Can't but notice that you guys also don't go into the creepy abyss over there. Is it because there's something bad over there? Oh, look! The spine thing's fighting the shark. What is that? That's a- oh, that's a Cyclops fragment. I don't need that. I fucking hate this. Okay, let's keep going. It's fine. It's so pretty, and it's also so- Ah! Oh, there it is! I guessed right that I should just go diagonally for a bit, because I was nearing the edge. Hey, you. Oh, I get to see you up close for a second. You hit me. Don't hit me. I bet you felt stupid just now. Oh, right. This is a light. Go away! Go away! Go away. The fuck did I just hear? What is that? That's just a shark. Did I hear a bad thing? Listen, some of you might be agonizing right now, but you need to be patient with me because I am losing my mind when I go to this deep. Not necessarily, not necessarily deep. I gotta remind myself, not numeric wise, this isn't that deep as far as things have gone so far. But, uh... It fucking feels deep. <laughs> it feels like the deepest I've ever been. Uh, it's not numerically true, but this place is fucking creepy. I'm not about to hit that, am I? Not if I go straight, I guess. Was that infected? Whoa. What am I looking at over there? Is that just an infected version of the other sharks? What is that? Yeah, it's just an infected one of the same sharks. It looked like it might have been crazy big or something. Look at that. It's really hard to make out from here. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, right. Engine powering down. I do not want this thing making noise and attracting stuff, uh, to me while I'm outside of it, because I'm going to be going outside of it in a moment. Vital signs stabilizing. 